my name is Lisa Berry, and I am a product engineer on the ArcGIS Living Atlas of the World team here at Esri. Today I'm going to show you how to make a reinforced or enhanced color and size map. But what is a color and size map? Here I'm going to show you three maps from the Esri Maps for Public Policy site. I've collected uh, th three maps, and the first one is showing us the COVID counts of recent outbreaks in the United States by county. You can see that the total population is shown in color and the recent case count is shown in size. So this is a fundamental color and size map. But the map that I'm going to show you how to make today, or something like it, is this reinforced map. You'll see that it still is a color and size map, but you'll notice that the polygons behind it are also filled reinforcing it so that you don't lose the pattern of the very tiny symbols like over here. This style can also be used on dark base maps for or even with symbols like Firefly like in this map but you'll notice how much it reinforces the pattern especially in um, areas where the symbols are much smaller. So how would you make one of these? I'm going to start in the new map viewer and show you how to first find the data I'm going to show you an example that utilizes some data from the Living Atlas. These layers, if you type in current year ACS, will actually ask access a collection of American Community Survey data coming from the U.S. Census Bureau. This collection covers a wide range of demographic topics, but I might, for example, be interested in learning more about race. You'll notice that these two layers look very similar and have similar names other than this one says boundaries and this one says centroids. These are perfect for using this style so I'm going to actually go ahead and add both of these into the map so that I can start exploring and creating this reinforced style. Looking at the layers you can see that each one of those centroids and boundaries layers contains state county tract and state county tract and which you can see here, it's overlapping the two. So this has actually done a lot of the work for us. But what we're gonna do is we're going to adjust the symbology for this map to show something completely different. And I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how to do this on the county layer. So first I'm gonna go ahead and hide this boundaries layer because we don't need it for now. And we're gonna click this county centroids layer to get started on symbolizing it. If we go into styles, that's how we get to the smart mapping interface. And we can see that there's all these other fields being used to map predominance on this map right now. But we're going to go ahead and remove those because, well, we don't really need them for this map that we want to make. So what map do we want to make? If we look at the fields in this layer, we can see that there's a wide range of attributes that have to do with the count of population by their race and ethnicity. And there's a ton of attributes in here that already calculate the percent of population for each one of these groups. So I might be interested in mapping the percent of population that is Hispanic or Latino. So first I'm going to go ahead and start by adding that. Smart Mapping will give me a style based on the fact that it knows that that's a numeric attribute and we're learning something interesting right away. But we're making a color and size map, so I'm going to go ahead and map also the total count of Hispanic or Latino population so that I can see the percent and the count side by side. And right away we're getting an interesting pattern. I could come in here and make some adjustments to my sizes. I could really emphasize which parts of the country have the most amount of Hispanic or Latino population and automatically we're seeing something interesting. But you'll notice some of these uh, smaller dots are a little bit harder to see maybe what those in-between patterns are when it comes to the color. So this is where the reinforcement comes in by adding back in those boundaries behind the scenes. So now we're going to focus on uh, this boundaries layer. So I'm going to go ahead and unhide that, but I'll warn you, it does not match right now, but let's go ahead and make it match. So we'll select it so that we can start changing its symbology. We'll go into style like we did before and we'll get rid of these just as we did a moment ago. So now again we're starting with from scratch and we're going to customize this map to show the same thing we showed over in the other map which was the percent of population that is Hispanic or Latino. Oh that's the margin of error. 
the count, I'm sorry, the percent of Hispanic and Latino population. When I add that, smart mapping will automatically recognize that these two data sets have the same exact data within them. So you'll notice it actually gave me the exact same pattern. To make sure that this is done effectively, we're going to want to compare to make sure that the breakpoints for these two layers are the same. So if we open the legend, we can see that our color and size map uses 30 to 0, and so does our boundaries layer. So we're in good shape. If these didn't match for some reason, we would want to make sure to replicate them so that the colors mean the same thing between the two layers. So how do we make this a reinforced map? Now that we have the two layers in the map matching, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the boundaries layer one more time and open the properties. And here's where we start to play with the transparency. I like to try it 25% at a time increments. Okay, I like that, but it's still conflicting with the point symbols a little bit. Let's try 50. All right, I think that's a little bit better. Let's try 75. I think that's a little too faint. What I say is the rule of thumb is it's somewhere between 40 and 60% tends to be the sweet spot for this style because you'll notice it's reinforcing the pattern, but it's not, as, it's not fighting with the circles as much as when there was less or more transparency. So I hope that you feel empowered to create your own reinforced color and size maps and happy mapping. Have a great day.